had some requests on how I use grow lights. You wanted me to make a video of it. So I just started using grow lights to grow seedlings and um, so far I'm really pleased. This is, these are about, oh, like, I don't know, 10 days, must be, no, not even that. No, just a week, a week into growing. Um, I've got them under, I'm swapping out these two trays. So you can see there's a tray here and a tray back there and I swap them out. What I first started with, okay, you can see this has four grow lights. So we, we actually used one grow light to start out with. And what we found was that we didn't think, see how these outside seedlings here, you can't probably tell. These are taller than the ones on the interior. What happened is they were actually reaching for the light. So they were reaching inwards towards the light, which was shining just in the middle. So one grow light would work fine for, um, a smaller number of seedlings but for this four you know larger 98 pack of seedlings we really needed the four grow light so what we did is we, we bought this thing called a jump start now originally again it had one grow light on it and so these supports here were easily able to handle it but then when we switched out to four lights we actually ended up having to secure the whole thing up to this this um, shelf which was very conveniently already here so um, you know probably in the future we would just just not even buy the jump start we would just buy the four grow lights and the four grow lights were um, themselves they were I think it was $89 for the four grow lights the jump start system was 68 on Amazon I'll post links to both of them so I would probably just have skipped the jump start and gone right for the grow lights but Everything seems to be coming up. I've got my mixed lettuce here, my romaine. This is just, this is funny, but it's just like a tine of a fork, of a plastic fork, because I ran out of um, labels. Um, so romaine lettuce, this is my happy rich broccoli that I love. My watermelon's just starting to come up now. Um, the cilantro came up right away, which really surprised me. Cilantro is so hard to, to sprout. And then these are jalapenos. And let's see if I can't show you what's over here. And the other one, I'll reach back there and get it. Okay, so this is Swiss chard. <clears throat> um, this has got to be kale. Let me look at my little, yeah, dinosaur kale. Um, the cucumber, most of them came up. Um, this is um, this is toy choy, and this is celery. And what I, what's really important, what I need to do is I only want two celery plants per hole. So I need to come and just snip um, the extra ones. I could pull, pull them out too at this age. Just kind of reach in there and grab extra ones. Yeah, I can do that easily. I mean, this is way too many seeds. I, I need like a little seed seeder. Um, you can get these little things that will help you put the right number of seeds in a hole. Um, but that's too many, so I'll actually eat these sprouts because they're really good. Yummy. So, um, that's it. I want to show you something else too. I actually, um, started some bib lettuce in there and, um, I used some seeds that were, I got from Lowe's and they, they said, um, what did they say? They were organic and it was Martha Stewart organic. They're pitiful, pitiful seeds. So... Um, don't waste your time buying cheap seeds. They were cheap. They were also um, probably stored outside and then brought inside. You gotta watch out for seeds that are stored outside because they just don't sprout well. So basically because they sprouted but never did anything, I suspect that's actually a romaine lettuce right there, so ignore that one. But because they sprouted and never did anything, they have established a root system in there and probably uh, I can't use this rock wool, any rock wool anymore. I've kind of ruined it. Um, so once you get roots growing in the rock wool, it will actually um, compress the rock wool and you don't want to use it again. I don't know, the roots might be short enough where I could do it. So I'll save it and give it a try, but um, use good seeds. Um, I buy my seeds off of Amazon and I buy the um, Hertz or I'll post a link to it so you guys can see. But I just want to show you guys my new endeavor and for about if you bought this for less than a hundred bucks, you would have a great grow light system. Oh, and the other thing too is these green trays are really nice and I get these off park seeds. So I hope this explanation helps. Thanks.